Sylvia McAfee, the Serials Librarian here at the Lister Hill Library of the Health Sciences at the University of Alabama at Birmingham. I'm here to talk to you about the life of a journal. We have titles that we have been subscribing to for years. In some instances, they began centuries ago. We subscribe to over 41 print plus electronic subscriptions. We have five print only subscriptions, meaning that the only way that you can receive these titles presently is through paper copy only. Print journals usually take six to eight weeks to be processed and sent to Lister Hill Library. We get our journals in the mail every morning. We used to get hundreds of journals a week, but now since we have most of our journals online, we get maybe a, a dozen journals a week if that much. I check the journals in on Horizon. When I open the record up, I can see the bibliographic information, such as the publisher or the frequency of the journal, like if we get it weekly, like BMJ, or monthly, like Foot and Ankle International, and we can also see the ISSN number, the bill record, and we can see the holdings information. And once everything, I make sure everything is correct, I check that journal in. And once that is done, I take a strip of tattle tape and put it inside the journal. It's a security tape to make sure that if someone walks out of the building with the journal, the alarm would sound. And when I finish checking all the journals in, I take the journals downstairs to CAS, Collections Access, and they will share the journals. We bind our journals in Buckram. One important note about Buckram is that they last 100 years or longer. So it's really interesting that work that we've done years ago will last when we're gone. So preservation is very important to the sustainability of journals. Well, I'd like to tell you how a journal is made into a hardback. First off, we, are about, we got up the uh, journals from the current display and they are made into four stacks of three, four, and six. This depends on how thick of the bargain. And it goes to the National Binary Company. And they return within a month's time. They have, um, when they come back, they are in hardback instead of the periodical journal that we sent out. For brittle books, we have a phase box. This is what we consider as a brittle book that's not able to be repaired. The leaves are, are coming out. The pages are coming out and also inside we have a water damage. And if it's not able to stay like that, if they start breaking, that's when the face box is coming in. The face boxes are measured by height. Height, the width, and thickness of the book. So when you come back, the face box will be able to fit without any problem. So, in the basement, we have, which is two floors down from the first floor when you enter the library, we have journals that date back to the 17, 1800s, depending on the title. Compact shelving in the basement allows us to take advantage of a small space and fill it with lots of print journals. To get to the journal that you would like to use, you just turn the crank on the side, go into the shelving, and select your journal. Titles are on the shelf alphabetically by title. In the event that there is a title change or that there is a specific reason that a journal would not be with the rest of his family, you would look on the shelf and see the dummy, the book dummy, read on the spine and find out where the book was bound and shelved. Normally, if you see the in the title, you would omit it in most libraries. In a medical library, you would look at of the within the context of the title 
because it's bound and shelved within the journal collection using of the. If the is in front of the title, then it is admitted normally. The bound journals will have different colors of buckram on the outside to let you know when the title has changed from one title to the next. That will also aid you in finding the correct journal when you're using our holdings.